गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ कोमल वालदे टुडे वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इन ह्यूमन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट एक्सटर्नल जेनाइटेलिया एज वेल एज इंटरनल जेनाइटेलिया सो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंटरनल जेनाइटेलिया इन द इंटरनल जेनाइटेलिया द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इज कंसिस्ट अ पेयर ऑफ ओवरीज अ पेयर ऑफ ओवी डक्ट्स अ सिंगल यूटेरस and vagina starting from the a pair of ovaries ovaries are present in the pair it is present horizontally to the both side of the uterus the ovary is the female primary sex organ we can say that it is the female gonad in which development and production of the female gamete is takes place means the production and development of the ovum is carried out in the ovary okay these are the ovaries which is in the pair it lies both side of the uterus again in the ovaries are developed in the pelvic region it has it has internal medulla as well as cortex but before we move on that ts of ovary we discuss that the ovary has cortex and medulla region the production of gametes production of ovum is carried out in the ovary before the birth of female baby before the birth of female baby there is millions of follicles are present inside the ovary the development is carried out before the birth of the ovary but uh, sorry before the birth of female baby but the primordial follicles or the follicles are developed at the age of puberty at the age of puberty when menstrual cycle begins at the onset of puberty that that time the development of primordial follicle into the graphene follicle or we can say that the mature follicle is takes place from the puberty and first menstrual cycle is starting at the puberty age that is known as the menarche that is known as the menarche the time at the starting of puberty we can say that the starting of menstrual cycle is begins that age is a 12 to 14 years of the female this period is known as the menarche the end of the menstrual cycle is known as menopause is known as menopause the age of the menopause or stopping of the menstrual cycle is between 45 years to the 55 years that 20 uh, 32 years is the reproductive period or the reproductive age of the female reproductive system only from the menarche to menopause ovary produce egg or ovum or the natural pregnancy is carried out in this uh, in this period that is the menarche to menopause okay now we move on to the ovary in the ts of ovary there is two region middle region is the medulla and around the medulla there is cortex region there is the cortex region in the cortex region number of primordial follicles are present number of primordial follicles are present before the birth of female baby okay i told you that then the development from the primordial follicle to the primary follicle to the secondary follicle then tertiary follicle is goes on at the puberty and this changes is takes place each menstrual cycle okay listen from the primordial follicle to the mature follicle this changes is carried out each menstrual cycle means each menstrual cycle has the process from primordial follicle the primordial follicle are smaller in size then it covered by the granulosa cell and it turns into the primary follicle then primary follicles is thick 
means granulosa layer is thick and it is turns into the secondary follicle the secondary follicle is secrete the estrogen hormone it secrete estrogen hormone this estrogen hormone is secreted by the secondary follicle and secondary follicle is developed into the tertiary follicle that secondary follicle is developed into tertiary follicle as the 12th day of as the 12th day of menstrual cycle means the secondary follicle which secrete estrogen hormone and that secondary follicle is turns into the tertiary follicle at the 12th day of the menstrual cycle then after formation of the tertiary follicle the tertiary follicle is developed into the mature follicle and this mature follicle is also known as the graphene follicle because the graphene follicle or mature follicle is produce the mature oocyte means in the primary follicle there is the oogonia secondary follicle oocyte uh, oogonia and the tertiary follicle is also form oocyte and after its maturity it turns into the graphene follicle that graphene follicle or mature follicle consists what the granulosa layer cells which is which is thickened to 2 to 3 layer and inside the graphene follicle there is oocyte is present and it is known as the graphene follicle as well as mature follicle we can say that it is the secondary oocyte also it is known as secondary oocyte also after the formation of graphene follicle at the day of 14th at the day of 14th the egg is comes out from the graphene follicle the egg is comes out from the graphene follicle and this process is known as the ovulation means ovulation of the egg is carried out at the 14th day of the menstrual cycle and this cyclic changes is carried out or takes place inside the ts of ovary at from each menstrual cycle okay after the ovulation or after the uh, oocyte or egg is comes out from the graphene follicle the remaining graphene follicle is known as the corpus means it turns into the yellow body the remaining graphene follicle is turns into the yellow body which is known as the corpus luteum which is known as the corpus luteum which is known as the corpus luteum again the corpus luteum is turns into the a white scar or white scar body a white scar or white scar body when if the egg is not fertilized means fertilization is not takes place then remaining follicle is turns into corpus luteum and the corpus luteum turns into the white scar which is known as the corpus albicans corpus albicans corpus albicans the process of formation of uh, oocyte or egg is carried out from the primordial follicle and that primordial follicles are present in the ovary from cortex region of the ovary and there is the layer of ovary which is known as germinal epithelium cell which is known as germinal epithelium cell from that germinal epithelium and primordial follicle it begins or it form the primary secondary tertiary and lastly the graphene follicle this is the oogenesis process is carried out in the ovary because the ovary is what female primary sex organ we can say that the female gonads so the function of the female gonad 
means the function of gonad is what production and development of the female gamete or we can say that the gametogenesis is takes place in the gonad so in female reproductive system the female gonad is known as testis and the process of gametogenesis that is the oogenesis is carried out in the testis okay uh, sorry in the ovary sorry it is the ovary now it is the primary sex organ which is presents in the pair second to the a pair of oviduct next to the pair of ovaries there is the pair of oviduct we can see in the diagram there is the pair of ovaries okay there is the pair of ovaries and ovaries are connected to a long tube like structure with the uterus okay it is connected to the uterus by a long tube like structure that is known as the oviducts oviducts is also in the pair form means two oviducts are present both side of the uterus oviduct is also known as fallopian tube it is also known as fallopian tube it is also known as fallopian tube again it is also known as uterine tube also the oviduct is known as the fallopian tube as well as uterine tube ha huh. this is the uterine tube which is 7 to 8 cm in length in the pair uh, sorry in the uterine tube or the fallopian tube consist a finger like projection a finger like projection which hold to the ovary which hold to the ovary there is a small opening of a fimbriae region or we can say that or we can say that at the infundibulum region there is a small opening this opening is ostium this opening is ostium the fallopian tube or oviduct divided into three parts it divided into three parts infundibulum ampulla and isthmus okay infundibulum ampulla and isthmus means the fallopian tube is divided into three parts the infundibulum is narrower end having the finger like projection that is the fimbri fimbri is hold to the ovary as well as ovary is hold to the ovary uh, sorry ovary hold to the uterus by a ligament by a ligament these ligaments is attached to the wall of uterus now the ovary is hold by the fimbri and single fimbri is at least a single fimbri is very long to hold the ovary okay again infundibulum ampulla and isthmus this is the three regions of the oviduct infundibulum is narrower portion the function of the infundibulum is what driving the egg or ovum from ovary to the with help of ostium into the ampulla means infundibulum the function of the infundibulum is what it traveling or driving the egg or oocyte from ovary to the ampulla ampulla is a straight tube and second region of the uh, oviduct it is the second region of the oviduct and it is straight tube the function of the ampulla is what the fertilization of ovum or fertilization of egg is carried out in the ampulla region in the ampulla region and or uh, ampulla to the third part of the or third region of the oviduct is isthmus isthmus is narrowing in nature and it opens into the uterus that is the pair of oviduct has three parts the pair of oviducts divided into three parts isthmus ampulla and infundibulum now a uterus a uterus is single hollow muscular organ it is single hollow muscular organ 
which is also known as worm the uterus is also known as worm the uterus has three parts again the uterus has three parts uppermost is the fundus the uppermost part is the fundus the function of that fundus is implantation of embryo is takes place by this fundus means the embryo implant in the fundus portion now the main broader portion is known as the body uterus has main broader portion that is known as the body and end it is tapering at the end or sorry it is tapering at the downwards that tapering portion of the downwards of uterus is known as the cervix it is the small tube like structure which is presents downward to the uterus that is the cervix the function of fundus is what implantation of embryo means the embryo implant implantation is carried out by the fundus then the function of body is what the developing embryo or after the uh, implantation the development of baby is carried out in the uterus it is also the passage for menstruation means uh, menstruation we can say that the development of baby is carried out in the uterus and there is the small opening or small tube like structure that is cervix along with the fundus body and cervix the uterus has three layered wall the uterus has three layered wall outer wall is known as perimetrium the outermost wall is the perimetrium the middle thick wall the middle thick layer or thick wall is known as the meiometrium the middle thick layer or thick wall is known as the meiometrium the function of that meiometrium is produce a labor during the parturition it produce labor during the parturition the innermost wall of the uterus or the uterine wall of is innermost wall of the uterus is known as endometrium okay that is the inner wall of the uterus is known as endometrium endometrium the thickness of the endometrium is changes during the each menstrual cycle or in the menstrual cycle the thickness is small or large or thin or thick is depends on the menstrual cycle means it changes the perimetrium meiometrium and endometrium collectively known as the uterine wall okay it is the uterus has three parts as well as three layered wall the last internal genitalia is the vagina the vagina is small tube presents between the cervix and vestibule the vagina is small tube which is presents in the in between cervix and the vestibule it has two opening the vagina has two opening one is the inward to the uterus and is outwards to the vulva also the vag function of that vagina it carry the menstrual flow as well as the parturition or the delivery of baby is carried out by the vagina this is the internal genitalia in which a pair of ovaries a pair of ovary ducts a uterus and vagina we studied in the female reproductive system thank you